Hey, what's up guys? Mike here. I want to give you some tips on designing some icons in Adobe Illustrator. All right. Uh, one of the things in web design, you're going to have to learn how to, or a good skill to know is learn how to create icons. Here is a, a cool, actually free, amazing set. It's for it's free. You go to this site called Glyfish, G-L-Y-B-H-I-S-H.com. And you can download this set for free and you can sort of try to recreate them or use them or whatever, right? But in some cases, you're going to have to learn how to design your own icons. And in the past, I've used uh, Fireworks, um, but lately I've been using uh, Illustrator to create vector I, my vector set and then I'll transfer them over to Fireworks. I'm going to show you how to do that or how to just give you some tips on on designing icons in Adobe Illustrator first off when you create a new canvas it looks something like this what you want to do you want to go over to view and you want to go over to show grid okay so now you have this grid system there and then this is going to guide you as you create your icons and then you want to go to view again and do snap to grid okay and then this is very helpful so let's zoom in here so for example you're going to want to you see these squares you're going to want to work within that ratio so when you're let's take these four squares okay and so let's say I grab my circle tool and I start at this top corner here as I hold my shift key down and I drag the circle you'll see you'll notice that the, the circle snaps to different you know points within the grid and this is very helpful because it will uh, it'll keep your your icon set or your icons or your shapes proportion to the things you're trying to design you know so it's very it's very uh, helpful way of designing icons is to create your uh, you know show your grid and then you know click on snap to grid and uh, you know work out work work it out that way so for example let's say I'm creating um, I don't know let's say I'm creating a moon or something okay so I can grab these two circles another uh, tip you want to um, keep in mind is when you're creating icons in Adobe Illustrator the Pathfinder is going to be used a lot. You can find that by going under Window, clicking Pathfinder. Okay, so I have these two objects. I can then knock out the one here, and I have my little my moon icon. Okay, so now if I wanted to, uh, let's say I wanted to create, I'll show you a practical, uh, a practical thing. So here I am, I have my website here and I have this little dialog box and I want to create a little close icon in this. This is Adobe Fireworks and I want to create a close icon that goes here that's going to be the icon where the user can click that and close the box. Okay. So in Adobe Illustrator, I'll grab my rectangle tool and I'll be working within these I'll work within this little box here, the ratio here. So I can easily create a little square there, a little rectangle there. Then I'll create a rectangle there. And then I hold my shift key down. I, I select those two. Holding shift key, I can, around the corner, holding the shift key, I can angle this to be sort of like an X okay so now I can highlight these two and go over here to my Pathfinder if I select this one where it says unite my object becomes one piece okay it's my X I'm gonna use for my clothes icon so now here I am in Adobe Illustrator I don't export anything what I can do all I'll do is control or command C on a Mac or control C on the Windows, I'll copy this. I'll go over to Fireworks, 
my web mocking up tool that I use and then I'll just go command V or control V and it'll paste the workable vector file in your fireworks application okay so let's make it white you'll see it there I can scale it and you'll notice that it maintained the points and things like that that um, that uh, fire that you we created in Adobe Illustrator so now I have my X here you know what I can do let's do this I'm gonna create a little circle that this sort of goes with so I'll create a circle there let me select this one copy delete move this over let me turn this to gray paste my X in there we can scale it down just a little bit so if I select these two objects I can go over here in fireworks I can align this okay and now using the path finder thing in fireworks I can do the same thing I can knock out the inside of that so having selected that circle I can scale this down to 14 pixels so here's my icon set my little icon that I just created okay so there I have a little a vector icon for my my little web project here okay and that started in Adobe Illustrator by creating a grid showing my grid set choosing snap to grid and then using the pathfinder to manipulate my icons and things like that okay so play around go you know if you don't have uh, Adobe Illustrator go and grab a free trial if you do start using it start um, playing with uh, these different files you can download this free icon set and then in Adobe Illustrator what I would do is just copy this graphic here like this copy it paste it in Adobe Illustrator and then start to try to recreate those using the shape tools and things like that alright and the Pathfinder area alright hopefully this was helpful you learned a little bit from this and uh, thanks for watching alright subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, follow me on YouTube, um, YouTube and um, uh, Twitter I'm sorry and then uh, check out my website for frequent updates on my blog alright thanks for watching we'll talk soon bye